Well, Antoinette Vineyard Wind believes a manufacturing misstep resulted in this wind turbine blade failing. New images this morning show that damaged blade about 15 miles off the coast of Nantucket. Residents there are still finding debris and sharp pieces of fiberglass on the island's southern beaches. Now, the blade was made by GE Vernova. The CEO blames insufficient bonding during manufacturing and not an engineering design flaw for the failure. But town officials plan to hold the company accountable. We demand 100% transparency from both Vineyard Wind and GE about exactly what occurred during the blade failure and exactly what chemicals and materials are in the debris that has washed up on our beaches. We heard a lot of comments, we heard a lot of questions, we heard a lot of concerns. We've heard those loud and clear and we've taken them very seriously. And now GE says it plans to inspect all blades made at the factory and promises transparency throughout the process. Environmental firm says none of the debris washing ashore is toxic and no one has been hurt so far, but some residents now want this entire offshore wind power project to end. Reporting in Boston this morning, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.